All right, this is what we're going to make today. It's a doggy door um, that goes in through a uh, concrete block wall uh, for my dog to get outside. And I had one made out of uh, that I had bought. It was a PetSmart one, and it uh, got messed up over time. So I made this one out of steel and aluminum. And it should let the dog go in and out. Let's get in the shop and get started. Okay, so here's our fit up. I had to cut this little notch out so that this would be the right length. These lined up. I'm gonna put them against the edge here. I've got a piece of aluminum. Oh, it's about 16th or, or uh, something like that. And I'm cutting it for the door. I want it to just fit inside. All right, so that's how it fits. It's almost a quarter of an inch short here, but that's gonna be all right by the time we get the wire and all that on it. All right, so here's the, the wire that's gonna act as our hinge, and it's just a piece of wire like uh, the political signs come on. I use it for a lot of different things. And then I'm gonna drill just one drill size over the diameter of that. That's probably 3 sixteenths. Well, it's a little bit smaller than 3 sixteenths, actually. Okay, so I'm just putting my wire here to give me an idea of where I wanna drill. And then I'm putting a piece of wood to give my, so my height's the same on both sides. So now I've cut just a little piece of aluminum flashing about a half inch wide. And I'm going to use it to attach this on there like that. Then I'm gonna take a punch. Every time I use this punch, somebody asks me, where do you get a punch like that? So I'll try to put a description. I'll try to remember to put one in the description of the video for you. Okay, so now I'll just cut that extra off. And we're going to attempt to do the same thing on the other side. And now we'll assemble it. Okay, now that's our door. Now, let's check the swing. Alright, that doesn't swing very good. So let's flip it over and see if it does better the other way. Okay, so I think the problem is is my holes up here are not in exactly the same spot. Therefore, by the time you get down here, it's exaggerated the hole over. Okay, so I finally got it to fit. I had to cut it off just a little bit more at the bottom down here. And can you see my can you see my hole? I actually had to put it on my mill and cut another hole down below it to get it straight enough. And that gives me a bigger gap than I would like at the top, but I'll cover that with some weather stripping. But it swings, it swings really well now. Now I'm going to do a little experiment here to see 
if it, how a magnet will do holding this thing shut. So I'm taking a little neodymium magnet and I'm going to tape it on the end. Well, my hands are so dirty. I'm messing my tape up. That's kind of the end in there. Okay, so let's see what happens. I mean, it kind of, you can see it kind of orienting it. It's not doing enough. Let's try adding a couple more. Or I tell you what, let's try this. What if we tape it this direction? Yeah, I like that better. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe a couple of those and we'll be in business. Alright, now I'm going to get this thing painted. I'm using my Acme shake o -Matic to uh, shake my paint up for me. There's a video on how I made this if you're interested. Alright, so we're just going to use some Krylon primer. All right, it's been about 10 minutes and we're going to top coat it. Just using some more Krylon. And this is, I don't know what color this is, gray something. Smoke gray gloss. Okay, so while the paint's drying on the frame, I uh, epoxied some magnets down and you probably noticed in the other video this this uh, aluminum is some used aluminum that came out of my bus when I converted it and it has this weird like industrial contact paper or something on it so I sanded that off this is going to be on the inside nobody will ever see it but anyway if epoxy these in place I'm gonna let those dry and let the paint dry and then we'll be ready to put it up okay so here's the hole it's going in See, I messed the paint up. I forgot to drill my holes and I had to cut this side off. So anyway, I'll touch it up when I get done, which I probably would have had to do anyway. Let's get it screwed in. All right, so I got it masked off and I'm just gonna give it a touch up of paint. Okay, that's got it all installed. And you can see the magnets keep it centered there. I think this is going to work great for what I need. Thank you for watching.